Wait. Na, 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 Hold on. Na, na, wait. Na, no, na, na, no, na, na, that's not working. Na, oh wait, yes it did. Na, 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 oh, na, 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 na. Hello everyone, and welcome to a Minecraft video. And today we're going to be learning how to build towers from Rob the Build Bear, because I, I, I suck at building towers. Like in, insert footage of awful towers here. Ugh. 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 Oh. 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 What? Oh. 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 Man, these. Oh. 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 It's, it's awful. So, today we're going to be learning from Rob the Build-A-Bear how to build towers, and we're already in this pretty cool tower. Hold on, I don't want to walk off the edge here. But, like, this tower is already much better than mine. Um, but without further ado, let's introduce uh, ourselves to the creators. So, Welcome to learn make sure to follow. Towers. I'm Rob the Build-A-Bear, and I'm here to help you learn to build. Each tower has a button at the front to get you started behind you. All you need to do is decide which one to build first. You give me nightmares, Rob the Build-A-Bear, but I still love you because you're cute. So this is Rob the Build-A-Bear. He's going to be our guide today, and yeah, that's basically how I see my towers, and that's how I want my towers to be. So make sure to follow Entity Build on Twitter.com and credit to <laughs> commands by Wither, Daniel, and builds by Charmzy, Jesse, CH4RMSY. So make sure to follow those people and check out their stuff. First, let's, uh, let's see what there's to offer. What's this over here? I'm going off the path if I do that. <laughs> so here's the different towers we can build, and they are all look better than mine. Learn to build, save your world. Wow, they're all so much bigger than mine in a sense. I think I... I wonder, like, just looking at them I get, like, inspiration, but I wonder what happens when I, I build them myself. Like, I wonder how, how it works. It's also pretty neat. Like, I like all of these, but I just... I don't know how, how much of them I can do. I'm... I'm interested. Let's... Let's see what happens. Let's learn to build... Uh, I kind of like that first one up there. And I'm pretty sure if I just press the button up there... I'll learn to build it, but I kind of want to look at the inside of this one first. Okay, I like the staircase design. It makes me think of Mountain Blade. I like it! Oh, I didn't get hurt. <laughs> that was so anticlimactic. I like the outside of that one. It's very boxy, though, but I'm, I'm looking for a tall tower, and I feel like this is more the aesthetic I'm looking for. So. Let's learn to build it. Another creation loaded. Are we going to finish it off? Or add some flair? I'm excited. Here we start with the foundation. We mark out where the floor base shape is so we know the rough sides of our tower. And choose the blocks we want our tower to be made of. When building, remember that a good way to have your creation look more realistic is for the foundation to hold the walls and for the walls to hold the roof. Hmm. Thank you. So now do I get to build? Are we done here? Thanks everyone for watching, and that's how you build. Uh, next stage. Can we continue our foundation up, making the base support section oh. of the tower. We also begin to add detailing to make our structure look. When building, remember that we don't want our creations to look like they fall over. Having our creations look like they're stable adds realism. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. Those look like uh, 
stairs. So that gives it the uh, half block effect there. Okay. I'm picking up what you're putting down, Rob the Builder Bear. Here we continue up our tower, adding the support detailing to make our tower look strong. We also give ourselves an outline of where we want our windows or balconies to be. When building and deciding on what blocks to use, remember generally we want a different type of block for our flooring, our walls, our roof, and our supports to make creations look more realistic. Okay, okay. I see what you're saying. I'm, I'm liking how this is looking. You're doing good. I'd shake your hand, but I can't. Oh, I can see your little ears. I can see them anyway. Anyway. Trying different blocks for different parts of your creations is a good way to make new styles. I'm liking how this is looking. Where are the floors though? <laughs> Here we continue our upper level detailing and add in our lookout area or roof design. We also then add in our interior detailing for our tower as well as a way to reach the top. Okay. There's no ladders on it right now, so I can't climb up it, but I'm really liking how this tower looks. This is this is really helping me get some ideas for design. I feel like one more stage and it'll be by adding extra detailing to our upper level and finish the interior. Finally, we add our final details to our towers, like our balconies having railing and any other final touches we think our tower needs. Okay, okay. Man, this is so much better than my towers. So much more detailed. I I like this. I I like this. I approve this tower, Rob the Builder Bear. Wait, is that tree on top of that tower? It's not. Therefore, it's useless. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. If I hit next. Oh. Another is creation exit? saved. Next time you pick that save tower, you can continue where you left off. Now you can choose another tower to start. Interesting. So, I'm interested to try a different one, because I do really like that one. And let's try at least one more, because I do want anyone out there to try this for themselves. I just want to give this a little showcase. I think I'll do this one, because I, I like the square design. I feel like it gives it a very um, towering imperial look. I'm not a big fan of this interior, which is fine. More so the exterior details is what I'm looking for, as well as these... Um, interior kind of like supports like I like this roof and ceiling so I think I'll do this one next and just see how, how this one's made because god my my towers are abysmal let's try this one another creation loaded are we going to finish it off? we're at some flair here we start with the foundation we mark out where the floor base shape is so we know the rough size of the tower and choose the blocks we want our tower to be made of when building, remember that a good way to have your creation look more realistic is for the foundation to hold the walls and for the walls to hold the roof. <laughs> is it the same spiel every time? Here we continue our foundation up, making the base support section of our tower. We also begin to add detailing to make our structure look sturdy. When building, remember that we don't want our creations to look like they fall over. Having our creations look like they're stable adds realism. Okay. I'm really liking how this is turning out. Support detailing to make our tower look strong. We also give ourselves I like this middle section. When building and deciding on what blocks to use, remember generally we want a different type of block for our flooring, our walls roof and our supports to make creations look more realistic. I hate your voice. 
But I love your little screwdriver pouch. Can we continue to raise our tower to near its peak height? We then <laughs> was the other tower for a sec. For our tower to hold a lookout area or a roof. Trying different blocks for different parts of your creations is a good way to make new styles. Are there ladders yet? There are not ladders yet. I think I have to wait like another stage or two. Here we continue our upper level detailing and add in our lookout area or roof design. We also then add in our interior detailing for our tower as well as a way to reach the top. Here we finish off our tower by adding extra detailing to our upper level and finish the interior. Finally, we add our final details to our towers like our balconies having railing and any other final touches we think our tower needs. Oops. So another finished tower. And this one also looks pretty good. I mean, I like the inside. I wouldn't say I'm less creative than this. I don't know, sometimes I feel like towers look too busy. But I, I really like the detailing. And the differentiation between blocks really does add that layer of depth and detail. So I think a little bit of that could really improve my my tower looks a bit. Like I really like the supports going out on that one to support the roof or the windows. I like the base of that one too. Wow, these are really great. This tree is also really great. You know what? Tree inspiration as well. Look at this tree. That's a good tree. Anyway, make sure to follow Entity Builds on Twitter and uh, look at other work by Wither, Daniel, or Charmzy with a 4, Jesse, to see what other stuff they have out there. And don't forget about Rob the Build-A-Bear over here. This is really interesting. Um, it's really going to help improve my towers. I mean, you saw that mess. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Have a great one. Mom's spaghetti. Mom's spaghetti. Mom's spaghetti. <laughs> All right.